I want to start head. today a little bit differently. I want to start in child's pose. So you can bring your knees to the width of the mat and your big toes together. Or you can even, if you're feeling really flexy this morning, you can bring your knees right off the width of the mat. Come as wide as you want. Slide your hips back over your heels. And then just begin to walk your hands forward. Coming forward and down, bringing your forehead down onto the mat. Take your hands on the mat and press into them to slide your hips back towards your heels. And then walk your hands forward again so that you're really stretching through both sides of your body. And we'll ha have our first few moments of practice where we breathe and we center ourselves here in this pose. So notice the breath. Here, notice that you are breathing right into your belly. Maybe feel the belly inflating down between your legs. You're breathing into the back of the body. The ribs have plenty of place to open up to here. Your forehead's touching the mat just around your third eye. And you tap into your internal wisdom, connect with your intention for the day. And so that during, during the day and day you may respond to events and activities rather than react to them. Respond to them in a way that supports your intention. Three more breaths here. And then when you in, when on your next inhale, let's float up to a tabletop pose. Draw your knees in towards your chest or into or underneath your hips. Coming to a tabletop pose, a couple of cat cows here, turning the tailbone up, rolling the shoulders back, bringing the crown of the head high. As you exhale, turn the tailbone down, round the spine, drop the front of the head. A couple more times here, waking up the spine. Moving in a way that feels good for you. Remembering to move the body, the spine like a wave here. So really feel each part of your spine. Come into a, um, a tabletop pose. Maybe walk your knees back a couple of inches. And as you inhale, bring your fingertips, your shoulders forward of your fingertips. And then exhale, bend the elbows back towards the back of the mat, coming all the way down onto the mat. Inhale to float your chest up off the mat. Hands are light on the mat, so we're not putting Pressing weight into the hands, we're using the strength of the back to lift the upper body. Press your tops of your feet into the mat, and then exhale to release. Inhale through table, and exhale back, child's pose. So inhale, come forward, plank on your knees. Exhale, lower halfway down this time, so you're your elbows are next to your ribs. You're squeezing those elbows into the ribs. Inhale, plank. Exhale, curl the toes under and lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. Feet are hip width apart. We're opening up the back of the legs, the back of the body. Turn the tailbone up, sits bones up and out. Lengthen down to your spine, and just like we did when we were in child pose, press into your hands to slide your hips back a little further. Shake your head, and then let's come to stillness for three breaths. Heels are pressing back towards the back of the mat. 
And breathing into the front of the body, the sides of the body, the back of the body. As you inhale now, bring your shoulders forward and step your feet forward to the front of the mat. Bring your fingertips to the shin. Find a halfway lift. Roll the shoulders back and be looking for a nice flat back here. Exhale, forward fold. Gaze back between the knees, let the body go. As you inhale, soften the knees, roll all the way up to stand. Hands up, look up, and then right away, let's fold forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, soften your knees, plant your hands, and step your feet back to downward facing dog. Inhaling, keep your gaze on your big toes as you float forward to plank pose. Crown the head can come up very last. As you exhale, bend your elbows back to the back of the mat and lower all the way down to the mat. Unhook your toes and lift the heart, cobra pose. As you exhale, release. Inhale, bring your fingertips off the mat and tent them on the sides of the mat. Elbows are high. And inhale to bring your heart up, shoulders above, elbow height. And here, I want to just start to make some circles with the shoulders. The right forward, shoulder forward, the left shoulder forward. Move it around here a little bit. Maybe now go in the other direction. And turning the circles in the other way. Come to center, exhale down, hands into the side body. You can press up here to plank on your knees or on your toes or to tabletop. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Let's bring our feet together at the back of the mat and inhale to float your right foot up to the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the right foot forward between your hands. You have an option here. You can drop the left knee down onto the mat or you can stay on the toes. Fingertips are on the mat. And I want you just to sink your hips and bring your heart forward. And then as you exhale, slide the hips back, bring your front leg towards straight, even lifting the right toes up off the mat. If you're on your knee of your right of your left knee, your hip is over the left knee. If you're on your foot, your left heel is drawing back towards the back wall. Now let's flow with this. Inhale, coming to your lunge, your runner's lunge, heart forward. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale to come forward. Exhale back. Inhale, coming forward. Plant your hands down onto the mat. And as you exhale, Bring your right foot back next to your left plank pose. Big breath in here. Shoulders come forward. As you exhale, come halfway or all the way down. Inhale, flipping over onto the top of your feet. Heart comes forward, cobra or up dog. Exhale, pull the low ribs in. Use the strength of your core, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left heel floats. As you exhale, left foot comes forward between the hands. Option to drop the right knee down onto the mat. Inhale to sink the hips, heart forward. Exhale, coming into that hamstring stretch. Left knee comes towards straight. Right heel drops right back to the back of the mat or your hips over the right knee. Left toes come up off the mat. Inhale. To your runner's lunge, hips forward, heart forward, crown the hips high. Exhale, lifting the hips up and back. One more time, both ways. Inhale to your lunge, exhale back. Inhale to come forward and exhale, find your plank pose. Inhaling, shoulders forward over the, over the fingertips and exhale. To lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale, open the heart. And then exhale, roll over the toes, lift the hips, 
up and back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, the right heel floats. As you exhale, bend the knee, open the hips, stack your right hip over the left. Doesn't matter how high your knee comes, but you want to be feeling this nice stretch in the right side body. And turn your ankle a couple of times while you're here. Inhale, the right heel extends back behind you. Toes are pointing down towards the mat. You can bring your toes, your tip foot down onto the mat next to your left, or keep it high as you float forward to a high plank pose. Stay here, or bend the elbows back to the back of the mat, coming to a low plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, right heel floats. Drawing that right foot back down to the mat. Inhale, the left heel high. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Give your ankle a couple of turns here. Always try to incorporate a little bit of foot care into our practice. Inhale, right he left heel extends. Even end your hips. Drawing the shoulders forward, coming to a high plank pose with the left foot up or the left foot down. Exhale, lower halfway or all down. Squeeze the elbows into the ribs. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, back to your legged dog. Drawing the left foot down onto the mat. Come up high on your toes. Inhale, so high on your toes that you can roll over them. Come to your shin. Let's cross the ankles and roll over onto our seat. Scoot your hips in towards the center of the mat. Top big toes are pressing into the mat here. Hands are going to reach forward. Tuck your chin into your throat and let's lower all the way down onto the mat. Take your time here. Feel free to bring your hands to the mat if you like. Otherwise, just a long, slow, controlled descent down onto the mat. Oh, rolling your shoulders back, bringing your lengthening the spine as you find your way all the way down onto the mat. Bring your heels in towards your sits bones here. Hands rest next to the hips. You're going to come to a bridge pose. So remembering that a bridge pose. We keep our gaze up towards the ceiling, even if our gaze is behind shut eyes. Roll your shoulder blades in so that they're sort of kissing together and your heart is really high. It opens up the, um, air, the airways a little bit better so that you can breathe. Walk your heels in as close as you can to your sit bones. And as you inhale, let's lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the tailbone down so towards your knees. So the low back is supported by, by an engaged core. And walk your shoulder blades closer in towards one another. You can bring your hands to your hips if you like and like really raise them up. Try and get your forearms perpendicular to the floor. And you can either stay there supporting your hips or bring your hands down. Maybe you want to interlace your fingers underneath your spot, underneath your body. Maybe you can grab your heels or your ankles and bind them there. Keeping the knees about hip width apart. One big breath here. And then as you exhale, slow spinal roll down, all the way down onto the mat. Uh, keep, don't bring your knees into your chest quite yet. We're gonna try another back bender. You can Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Just releasing a little bit here. And then I'd like to come again to bridge pose. Now you can take a choice this time. You can come to bridge pose or you can take wheel. If wheel is in your practice, I'll recommend that you give it a try. Even if it's not, you might want to take the wrist stretch today. So bringing your hands next to your head with the fingertips facing back towards your shoulders and your elbows way high. So you might just want you to just try your bridge pose with your hands in that position, getting a nice stretch in that, in that wrist. So inhale to lift the hips. 
Lengthen the spine. Lift the hips as high as you can. Really draw the navel up. Chest comes up. Then you can stay here just like this, taking whatever variation of bridge pose you like. Keeping the knees hip width apart, so drawing them in towards center. If you're coming to wheel, you can pump one pump, bring it into your hands, bringing all yourself onto the crown of your head. Again, you can stay here like this, or you can press into your hand and bring yourself up into a full wheel pose. Once you're here, let's take five breaths. Tuck your chin into your throat. And let's come up. We come back down onto the crown of your head. And then for everyone, slowly roll the spine back down onto your mat. This time you can bring your hand, knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Maybe sway from side to side. Breathe into the back, into the space where you are feeling that back bend. Now lace your fingertips, put them around your right knee and bring your left knee down onto the mat. Engage uh -huh. the right ankle and hook it over the left knee. Stay here just like this. Maybe you're feeling a stretch or you can bring your left knee into your chest. Hold on from behind. Keep that right knee engaged. You should be feeling no pain in your right knee here. You can always bring the left sole of your foot up to the ceiling. Notice that the low back is on the mat and your shoulders are on the mat. And I want you to be feeling no compression in the back of your neck. So you're not reaching up so far that um, your neck starts to get compressed in the back. Your shoulders are rising up. Now let's bring that left foot back down onto the mat. Bring your arms to like a cactus arms. And then roll onto your left hip. Left outer thigh, left outer knee, planting the right sole of your foot down on the mat. Keep the right shoulder on the mat. And the right knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. It kind of wants to fall in, but push it up towards the ceiling. So you're in a, a recline twist with a figure four legs. You can bring your chin over to your right shoulder. That feels good for you. When you're ready, you can, um, you can inhale back up to center. If you like, you can unwind the twist first and then bring your knees up or you can maintain the twist. Make a basket with your hands, draw your knee, your left knee into your chest, get a little hug in. Engage that ankle, bringing the toes back towards the shin. Put the left ankle over the right knee. Stay here just like this. Maybe you want to open up a little more by lightly pressing the left knee open. Or you want to draw the left, right knee into the chest. You can hold on to the back of the leg or the shin. Breathe easy here. Right foot can come up to the ceiling. Another good opportunity for some ankle turns. Wake up that foot. Stay here just like this. If you're loving this stretch, stay with it. And if you want, you can take the twist. Bring your right foot down onto the mat. And roll to the outside of your right hip, your right leg. Left foot comes down onto the mat. Make sure your left shoulder is on the mat and the left knee is still pointing up to the floor. Chin comes to the left shoulder. Let's inhale back to center. You can come, you can unwind the um, figure four if you like first. And then bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. You pull your knees up into your chest, into your nose, nose to the knee. Squeeze everything in tight. And then let's open up to Savasana. 
Here's Savasana, you can breathe easy. Enjoy this few moments of allowing the breath to move smoothly and easily through the body. Notice how you know, the energy in your body right now, the energy is flowing, circulating through your body. It's a wonderful way of feeling, a wonderful way to start the day. Take one more moment to connect with your intention for this day. And then let's just enjoy the stillness for a few moments before we come out of this together. As always, I'd like to encourage you to stay in Savasana for as long as you have time for. But if it's time for you to begin moving, begin with your fingers and toes. Turn your wrists and your ankles, just slowly bringing movement back to the body. Drawing movement up your limbs, into your head and neck. And making your way to a full body stretch. Heels pressing away, fingers reaching overhead. Maybe there's a big breath in there or a yawn. And then draw your knees into your chest. Sway from side to side. Best feeling ever, this low back massage. Come now to a fetal position. Whatever side looks to you. And when you're ready, take your time of it coming up to sit. Tuck your chin. You can even keep your eyes shut and find a whatever sitting position feels good for you. So no rules here. In front of the head comes up very last. Keep your shoulders a couple of rolls and inhale the fingertips up. As you exhale, draw the thumbs to the third eye and hinge forward. This is our final pose for today. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. As always, I love creating these practices for you, and I love it that you come and practice with me. So I hope you have a great day.